I now give the floor to Women Human Rights International Association for a joint statement. Mr. President, we pay tribute to Asma Jahangir who challenged the human rights violations by the authorities in Iran. We urge the Council to select an equally competent special rapporteur who would carry out the mandate fully despite pressures by the government. The new report by Ms. Jahangir expressed worry about the numerous deaths in detention of people who took part in the recent peaceful protests against the government. We have seen a systematic pattern of protesters being tortured to death with the authorities falsely claiming that they had committed suicide. The special rapporteur included in her report a section about the 1988 massacre stating that the families have the right to remedy, reparation and right to know the truth of the 1988 massacre and about the fate of the victims. In her last report to the General Assembly, the Special Rapporteur stated that recently some clerical authorities and the Chief of the Judiciary admitted that the executions had taken place and in some instances defended them. Far from being a subject of the past, the impunity enjoyed by Iranian officials must be challenged today, since silence serves as a green light for more atrocities in Iran's notorious prisons. As the Special Rapporteur states, families are being harassed today simply for asking questions about where their loved ones have been buried and top perpetrators of the execution continue to hold positions in the Iranian judiciary and government, including the Iranian Justice Minister, who last month addressed this council. The Human Rights Council should be a forum for ensuring that the culture of impunity in Iran is ended, and that officials are held accountable for this crime against humanity. Not least given the current vacuum in the mandate, we urge the High Commissioner to take a public position on the need for accountability, truth and justice over the 1988 massacre. The universality of human rights is a basic principle of this Council. The government of Iran, which publicly opposes this principle, has no place in this assembly. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.